Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to the Korean Cowboys podcast. Yes, yes, yes. We are back with one less arm slash hand this time. Yes, as you guys we can are. see. <laughs> We're down a limb. Yes, but, we are down a limb. But not down on content. Don't yes, get it sir. twisted. <laughs> so we are back with another fun and exciting topic for you guys this week. And yeah. this is a topic that we actually got a request to do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, from some of our listeners. And that is, what is love language and what is it to us? What is ours? You ever wondered? Well, we're yes. going to tell you today. <laughs> yes. To, so to explain what love language is, I actually have the definition brought up here right now. Uh -huh. So the five love languages are five different ways of expressing and receiving love. There's okay. words of affirmation. Okay. Quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Right. Okay. Yeah. So actually, I, I've... I've never looked into it really deeply or actually done this before, yeah, I but, I, but so. I'm curious. Looking at this list, what do you think you might be? Me? I'm maybe, I want to say maybe acts of service, maybe. Okay, what people can do for you. I'm, I mean, because <laughs> <laughs> that's isn't that what it means? I think that's I mean, what it means. I mean, yeah, I guess to put it in like a blunt way, I guess. Oh, like, oh well, listen, I no guess. filter here on Korean Cowboy. Yeah, well, um, Apparently, not everyone communicates love, you know, receives love or sends love the same way. So, mm -hmm. I guess this is like a quiz or something that was made to, I guess, find your specific love language, mm -hmm. right? But, you know, the thing is, is like it says love language, but I don't think it's necessarily a significant other. It could just be love in general, right? Like, you know, like yeah. just, you know. Like platonic love or yeah, something. Yeah, like platonic love because that's still love, right? Um, I think maybe I might be, hmm, it's going to sound really bad, but like. Like needy, but words of affirmation. Is that sound, <laughs> does that sound needy? Because yeah, that sounds like you. Like I need, I need people to tell that me how much they love me. Okay, because if they don't say it, then I'm just gonna assume that you hate me. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, listen. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, everyone is different, right? So mm -hmm. there are people like, let's go one by one. Okay. All right. Language, I gotta so. pull up my phone too. Okay. Here we go. So words of affirmation, right? So this is what. But receiving say, love through, I guess, words. Mm. You know, just like being told that you are loved or right. you know, cared about. I think that's what words of affirmation means, right? Okay. So basically, like if you don't um if you don't come into me and tell me that you love me or you tell me blah 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 all this stuff, right? Right. Then I'm gonna be like, oh, I guess they don't care. Yeah, you know? exactly. Mm -hmm. I, may, maybe. I mean, we're just mm -hmm. taking a wild guess. We'll go through like the actual definitions in a bit. Mm -hmm. maybe I, I'm just I'm shooting in the dark here just by reading these. So um yeah. let's see. Acts of service. I'm assuming this means like what people do for you. You know what I mean? Like what people can pr give to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like not necessarily like just a, give, but yeah, like, yeah. let's say like, cause I have like a, like a, like a broken wrist, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say like, I can't like, you know, like get a cup of water. If someone got me a cup of water, I'd be like, oh, thank you. Whether that be a friend or like, like, like a, like a lover or whatever. I'd be like, I'd be appreciative of that. You know what We're I mean? We're not talking about water with you. Okay. We've been through this. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Joy! If you don't do the dishes, you don't love me. That's <laughs> oh. Okay, um, next is, what is next? Receiving gifts. Oh, material girl. Yeah, we love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess this one is, I guess, <laughs> feeling loved or expressing your love to someone by buying them maybe material things. Um, me personally, are you checking out your teeth on the camera? On there your... is something in my, we just ate, guys. Hold on. You got some gochukaru in your this teeth, is a, no, no, it, It's. Wait, I can see through my camera. Hold on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you got, man, you're making me wonder if I got any of my teeth, bro. My pearly whites is back, guys. I'm sorry. That was really nasty. Uh, but anyway, the shout out to the PD for like pointing at his teeth and being like, da -da 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 -da. or my teeth, I mean, rather. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess like, like we said, receiving gifts is, you know, expressing your love or feeling love by receiving material possessions. Mm -hmm. Um, I personally think I'm a little far from this because I don't really care about material. Me too. Like, I don't care. Like you could like, oh, Gucci bag. And I'm just like, yeah. And 
Or like, or like, right a, to or like a Kenzo t-shirt or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, or like a Kenzo t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I heard that you can pay rent with Kenzo t-shirts. Anyway, <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, yeah, a funny story, you know, for another time. Uh, a different story about that. <laughs> hmm. The next one, though, I think I can relate here. Quality time. Isn't that like a given, though? Like people that you want to be hanging out with or people that like care about you will want to hang out with you. Isn't that right? Right. But I, I also think quality time is different just from like time spent together mm -hmm. because you can be with someone but it won't necessarily be like quality time you know what i mean i think it depends on how concentrated that person might be on you and how exactly. you might be like you could be together but if you're like both just diddly daddling on your phones and like is that quality time yeah i don't I, know i, don't I, know. I, I, mean, I think or, it's how you utilize your time mm -hmm. with your significant other mm -hmm. or your friends or whatever mm -hmm. um, but yeah. listen but you know what though i'm gonna be honest I can still care for you and be on my phone and be playing Candy Crush. Doesn't mean I don't care about you. That's I just true. I just have a damn hard time with this level. I've been stuck on the same one forever now. I, I feel yeah. like you've been telling me this for like weeks. Well, I'd be, get, I'd be getting stuck every every other day. Bro, so. just spend like $5 and get the items, bro. What do you uh, mean? No, I don't spend real money on games. We're going off on a tangent. Go back. Go back. Right. Rewind. <laughs> and the last one is physical touch. So maybe that may be like, you know, like. Like holding hands, mm -hmm. kissing, like mm -hmm. whatever physical touch may be. Like, you be. know, a light brush of the shoulder or a light sweep of their hair. You know, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. I mean, that's pretty nice. Although I don't particularly like people touching me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just I mean, in general. Either. Like, I don't like to be touched. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I, it, it's, it's, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. But yeah. So we have these five, I guess, different love languages. Mm hmm and we actually have like the test. Uh, we found one online. I guess we're gonna try it out and see what our specific love languages are and then we'll discuss. So are, are you in the thing? Whoops, I'm in airplane mode. Let me switch okay. to the Wi-Fi. You know you could just turn it on silent, right? I know, but my phone still vibrates. So oh, okay, just okay. Just in case. All right, let me know when we're in. Love language quiz for couples, singles, teens, and children. Yes. Take mm. this quiz to discover your primary love language and what it means. Oh, what it means and how you can use it to better connect with your loved ones. Mm -hmm. When you are finished, you may print, share, or save your results for future reference. They will not be saved automatically. Okay. We All don't right. need to know. Once I know, I know. You know. All right. So we're gonna start the quiz. Okay. First question is. How do you describe yourself? And the options are, I am an adult. I am a teenager. I am taking the quiz for my child. <laughs> Very much an adult. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. I am an adult. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that you can't not tell by looking at us, yeah. but okay. How I mean, I might be look like a teenager though, actually. I don't know. What do you think? Nah. I mean, you with this whole situation going on, you look like the grizzly man. I shaved I yesterday. Guys. All right. All right. Okay. Second question is, how do you describe yourself? And the two choices are, I am in a relationship or I am single. I think we're both I am single. Yeah, right? I am single, yeah. Okay, I mean, that was easy. The third one, it's more meaningful to me when, number one, someone I love sends me a loving note, text, email for no special reason, or choice number two, I hug someone I love. Hmm. Mm, it's more meaningful to me when... This is hard. I'm going to go with the hug. I I'm going to go with the text slash note slash email. I'm assuming phone calls fit in there too. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Yeah, just like a random, you know, thing. Yeah, I'm just a hug. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when I can I can spend time, alone time with someone I love, just us. Someone I love does something practical to help me out. Number one, right? Oh, that's for me. I spend alone time with someone I love, just us. That's yeah. what I feel. Uh, yeah, I think I agree with you on that one. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the second one is more along the lines of like, you know, oh, do the dishes for you or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you on the first yeah, one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of our love of concern for each other. Or I get to spend uninterrupted, uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. I'm going to go with the second choice. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Man, we don't need no gifts. <sighs> Please. All the gifts are nice. I, I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say no. Yeah, I'm not going to say no. But, I mean, but, you know, you know like, I, mean? I don't need them. Immaterial things are more important. Yes. I'm not a material girl, so, <laughs> you know. Our <laughs> next question, it's more meaningful to me when, number one, someone I love does something unexpected for me to help me with the project, or number two, I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. Hmm. Uh, oh, this is hard. Yeah, this is a hard one. Hmm. Does something unexpected help me with the project? What do they mean by a project? Like a PowerPoint? Like, or like, it, it could be like a PowerPoint maybe or something. Or let's say like you're building like maybe like you're let's say you're building a building or something and then like you fell asleep and like your friend or someone like worked on it while you were sleeping or something. Maybe, you know. Who the hell is building buildings? I'm Wait, that's like just, a big I'm, scale there. I mean, I'm just <laughs> saying, for example, all right. <laughs> um, I don't like people touching my projects. I like to do them myself. So I'm going to go with number two. I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. I'm going to go with someone I love to something unexpected for me mm -hmm. to help me with the project. To finish your building. All right. Yes. Got it. 
<laughs> All right. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public or someone I love surprises me with a gift. The arm around me in public is the gift. Is it not? I mean, I would think so. I mean, I'm going with true. that one. I don't need a gift. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, mm. I agree with you on that. Okay. Next question. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone I love, even if we're not really doing anything, or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, or putting my arm around someone I love. Oh, this one's hard. I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, or putting my arm... Or, I mean... I'm going to go with number one. Yeah, me too. If you're around someone you love and you're not really doing anything, but it still feels like, you know, special, yeah. then yeah. Yeah. I think it's meaningful. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone I love versus I hear from someone I love that they love me. Oh, definitely number two. Number two, yeah. Yeah, come on. It's more meaningful to me when I sit close to someone I love. I am complimented by someone I love for no apparent reason. I'm just saying. I'm going to number two. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when I get the chance to just hang out with someone I love. I unexpectedly get small gifts from someone I love. Number one. Yeah, hanging me. out. Dude, yeah, what there's are some materialistic ass people out here. I mean, yeah, geez. What? God oh, damn, man, y'all need to like material last <laughs> questions. All right. It's more meaningful to me meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you or someone I love helps me with the task. Number one. I'm, I'm number, number one. two. Number two, someone helps you with the task? Yeah. I don't like people messing with my tasks. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Words of affirmation, buddy. Mm-hmm. It's more meaningful to me when I get to do things with someone I love or I hear supportive words from someone I love. I mean, both are good. Yeah, I'm going to say number two. Get to do things with someone I love or hearing supportive words from someone I love. I think hearing supportive words is a, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. So it does things for me instead of just talking. Well, okay. I feel connected to someone I love through a hug. So I, I, I think the first one is someone who actually does nice things instead of just talking about it. Well, like showing your actions, through actions. Actions words. speak louder than words. words exactly. Yeah. Well, then yeah. number two for me. Really? Yeah. I think number one. Okay, I, so. I do think actions speak louder than words. Mm, they do. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when I hear praise from someone I love versus someone I love gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me. Is that a gift? It could be a gift or... A letter. Or a letter. Something. It could be mm -hmm. anything, yeah. I'm right. going to go number two. Uh, yeah, I don't need a lot of praise. I'm not, yeah. I'm not needy like that. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when I'm just able to just be, just be around someone I love versus I get a back rub from some, I hate back rubs. I don't like any kind of massage, anything. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go with number one. Yeah. Yeah. Number just one. Just being able to like be yourself around mm -hmm. someone. Mm -hmm. Hold on guys. We are like not even halfway through yeah, this quiz. I know. Quiz. This is a long <laughs> ass quiz, man. All right. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished. Mm hmm or someone I love does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy. Oh, I'm gonna go over number two. Because uh, they're going out of their way, you know. Like, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Going out of their comfort zone. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's more meaningful to me when I'm able to be in close physical proximity to someone I love, or I can sense, or I sense someone I love showing interest in the things I care about. I'm not number one. I'm not number two. Because like, I don't, if you really, really don't like something, but you force yourself to like it, do you really like it? That's what I'm thinking. What's your reasoning there? I mean, showing interest in like liking something is different, right? So like, right. as long as like, they're at least trying, right? Mm -hmm. And after like the try, if like they don't like it, then it's like, okay, like I understand like you, you tried your best, you mm -hmm. know? I don't want anybody to like force themselves to like anything. I think it's just like the effort that I, mm. I personally think is appealing. Right. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love works on special projects with me that I have to complete or someone I love gives me an exciting gift. I am... This is a hard one. I am torn. Yeah. I don't like people messing with my stuff, yeah, but same. I also don't really care about gifts. Although, I guess in this situation, I'll say someone I love gives me an exciting gift. What is yours? Yeah. Because, I mean, if it's a special pro special project that we both started on together, mm -hmm. then, like, that'd be different. But if it's, like, something that I've been working on, then, mm -hmm. like... They just helped me towards the end. I'd be like, maybe you might feel a little like a little mm. uncomfortable with that. Look at us. She take my money when I'm, I'm in need. need. <laughs> yeah, she's a truck. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I'm complimented by someone I love on my appearance, mm -hmm. or someone I love takes the time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. Number two. First oh, of yeah. all, no one needs to compliment me because I know I'm hot, so it don't matter. <laughs> I really don't care. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, I like the confidence. Uh, it's good for you, man. Yeah. Well, you don't learn like, not that way. You'd rather like you'd rather hear a compliment than <laughs> than uh, someone that takes you know listen to your feelings. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't really care if people compliment me on my like appearance or not. Like, 
I do it all the time, but I'm not, you know, in love with you or anything. I mean, we all know what's up, you know. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Oh, I love your confidence. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. It's more meaningful to me when I can share a meaningful touch in public with someone I love or someone I love offers to run errands for me. (laughs) I'm going to say run errands for me because I'm not really into the whole, like, public. Where's my bell? Damn it. I need need the bell. (laughs) Joy! (laughs) What up? Wait. (laughs) Oh, hold on. I got to I gotta read that one again. I was getting distracted on the bell comment. I can, I can share a meaningful touch in public with someone I love. Not so, in public, though. So PDA or if someone that you love offers to help you with something. I don't like PDA, so I'm going to go with the second one. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something special for me to help me out. Okay. I get a gift from, from someone that I love put thought into choosing. I guess number two. You know what I mean? Like, because they, they put a lot of thought into it. Right. But so it's it's the th- it's the thought that counts, mm. right? I'm a I'm a I'm like a really independent person. So I don't really like you know what I mean. Someone I love does something special for me to help me out. I'm gonna do a number one. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking with each other. Okay. Or someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on me. Oh, that's a hard one. I'm gonna do number one. I, number one. I, I it's it's like a big pet peeve of mine if I'm like uh-huh. talking to someone like they're on their phone or something. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Wait, I gotta read the second one again though. Out of the way to do something that release pressure on me. I have my own ways of pressure control. So or stress control. So yeah, I'll go to number one. Yeah. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift from someone I love. What's wrong with you people? And then I hear the words I appreciate you from someone I love. Number two. Yeah, number two, yeah. For sure. Mm. Okay. I mean, not saying that gifts aren't like nice guys. Oh, I'll take the gifts. We like gifts. I like who doesn't like gifts? <laughs> yeah, I'm not we gonna like be like gifts, but um, you yeah, know, there are other ways, mm, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, non-material. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's more meaningful to me when someone I love and haven't seen in a while thinks of thinks enough of me to give me a little gift. Okay. Or someone I love takes care of something I'm responsible to do, but I feel too stressed to do it at the time. Takes care of something. I'm responsible to do. Once again, <laughs> I'm gonna number two helps me like, take like take some like load off my shoulders. I mean, if I'm like really stressed, mm, uh, that's a hard one. Yeah. Though. Uh, yeah. I go number two also. All right. Next one. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love doesn't interrupt me when I'm talking Yeah. <laughs> or gift giving is an important part of the relationship that someone I love. If you interrupt me when I'm talking and I talk a lot, so sit down and strap in, uh, we got a problem. So I'm going to go with don't interrupt me. Yeah. I, mm. I hate being interrupted. Like this is a, a and B conversation. So see your way out, you know, <laughs> All right, it's more meaningful to me when someone I love helps me out when they know I'm already tired okay. or I get to go somewhere while spending time with someone I love. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with number two. I am very yemine, which is like, what is yemine in, in English? Like sensitive? Like sensitive, yeah. Sensitive when I'm tired. So I'm going to go with the tired one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love touches my arm or shoulder to show their care or concern versus someone I love gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day. Mm. I, I'm going to go with number two on this one because a little gift can be like anything, you know, mm, it could be a nice little letter or like it could a little be a letter like flowers or something. Right. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Gucci bag. It's like if I'm in love with, you know, if I'm like love someone, I mean, I feel like a touch to the arm or shoulder should not even be a big deal. So I'd say number two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love says something encouraging to me or I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby with someone I love Hmm. in a shared activity or hobby. I'm going to go with number two. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Mm hmm. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation versus I'm touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. Oh, I'm going to say number two. I'm going to go with number one. Number two. I'm going to go with number two because. OK. Because like I said, I, 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 I'm I'm needy. Right. <laughs> so we're nearing the end of the quiz right now, guys. Mm-hmm. So before we get the final results, let's try to decide what each of us get. Uh, I gotta go back and look at the, what the thing is. Of course I can't go backwards. Otherwise I cancel the, uh, (laughs) the thing. Um, what were the, the, the things again? Gift giving, words of appreciation, touching, uh, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service and physical touch. I'm going to say Aaron is the same as me or what I think I was hearing things. Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Yeah. What do you think I am? I think I think you're definitely words of affirmation. Okay, for sure. I think Not, me personally, I think I might be acts of service. I think. Yeah, no, you don't know. Where's my bell? Joy. 
<laughs> All right, so it's more meaningful to me when someone I love helps me out, especially if I know they're already busy, uh-huh. or I hear someone I love tell me that they appreciate me. Oh my God, number two. Well, uh, if you if you say that you appreciate me, that instantly makes my day better. It makes think, me more productive. I think number one for me. Number one, because if like someone's already busy, but like they're still taking time out of their day to help me, mm-hmm. that's something I could appreciate. Yeah, yeah. I'm busy. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when I get a hug from someone whom I haven't seen in a while mm-hmm. or I hear someone I love tell me how much I mean to him or her. Mm. Number two, hugs are dime a dozen, but real words are rare. You I know? think number one. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're very into the, it's very action oriented with you. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Mine came out. Uh, mine is, oh, whoa, what? Oh, they, got, they actually have like a bell for mm. <laughs> one of the results. Low key, it looks like the Google icon. Uh, right. But let's take a screenshot so we okay. can uh, show the people what our. Okay. Um. So I got, well, I'm sure we're going to just put the picture or the screenshot into the thing, but I got 30% yellow, which is a quality time, 27% words of affirmation, uh, 17% hand. I think that's touching. Uh, yeah, if you touch it, it'll show. 13%. You're not going to believe this. 13% bell. Joy! Can you believe that? <laughs> it's literally the icon. We actually have a bell, but I totally forgot to use it today. Sorry, guys. It's for my Aaron impersonation. Do my laundry and fold. Leave on my bed accordingly. And 13% um, present. Gift. Gift. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I got 37% quality time. That's my primary love language. Mm-hmm. 27% acts of service. Okay. 13% <laughs> words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. 13% receiving gifts. Okay. And then 10% physical touch. Right. Okay. Mm, okay. So quality time. What it says is in quality time, nothing says I love you with full undivided attention. Mm-hmm. Being there for this type of person is critical, but really being there with the TV off, fork and knife down, and all chores and tasks on standby makes you feel truly special and loved. Right. Distractions, postponed activities, or the failure failure to listen can be especially hurtful. Mm -hmm. Whether it's spending uninterrupted time talking with someone else or doing activities together, you deepen your connection with others through sharing time. I agree. Yeah. Uh, so Aaron and I are both the same, I guess, because I got the highest one being quality time also. What percent did you get? 30. 30? Okay, okay. Although it did switch with the the bell and the, the talking one, I think, with you. So like the, your uh, uh, acts of service. Yeah. That You got more than I did. What did you get? Like 20-something, right? 27%. Oh, my Lord. <gasps> well, that's okay, because you know what? I mean, I already knew that, but whatever. Jar! <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your least one? Uh, Gifts. Gifts. Okay. What was yours? Uh, physical touch. Oh, my well, what a saint. <laughs> <laughs> my second lowest one was uh, receiving gifts. Yeah, I don't need no damn gifts. I mean, you know, the gift is you, the person. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> so annoying. Well, you know, that's the thing, though. Like, I don't know. I feel okay, There are some people that like gifts more. You know, like, yeah. you know, like, if you don't buy me this or that, then you don't love me. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, there are people like that. Um, and I, I, that's totally fine. It's just, you wait for me. That's it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need people with quality time. I don't need no touching. Well, maybe yeah. a little bit of touching, but not too much, you know, because it's PG. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, but also, um, uh, no gifts. We don't need that uh, because I like to be the breadwinner in any friendship slash relationship. So there we are with that. Okay, yeah. So I guess... Um, our results for the love language quizos are both quality time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other love languages, I guess, varied between us. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I guess our biggest one was quality time. And we actually have, I have a chart right now okay. that uh, shows you the five love languages, what it is, how to express it, and like after conflict. Right? Okay. So let's go through this. Words of affirmation. What is it? Verbal compliments that express your love and appreciation. Okay. How to express it. Brag to others about your spouse. Write love letters. Okay. After conflict, speak words that build security and initiate a sincere apology. I do that. I'm very quick uh, to, to resolve conflict with my words. I like to do that. Um, yeah. Well. Yeah. Acts of service. Um, I think I know where we're going with this one. All right. What is it? Any act that eases the burden of responsibility. Okay. Something, you know, you do something. Wash your dishes. Or this is how to express it. Wash the dishes. Pamper your spouse. Offer, let me do that for you. Okay. Mm, having more flashbacks here. Here. Fill my bath. 
bathtub. <laughs> okay, but we're not. We didn't. You know. But uh, let's up. see. After conflict, make behavior changes requested through conflict. Submit. That is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Submit. <laughs> oh my ass. <laughs> you know, conform to my standards. My okay. Ass. I'm just kidding, guys. All right. Okay. <laughs> so the one that we got the most was quality time. So okay. what is it? Focused and undivided attention spent together. Mm -hmm. How you express it? Turn off electronics. Go for a walk. Plan date nights. Start a hobby together. Okay. And after conflict, what do you do? You make eye contact, active listening with empathy, and don't interrupt. See, I don't like that though. Why? Don't too much. If you're, if I'm like, if I'm like angry at someone, right? And they're like, you know, uh, well, I want to try and talk it out or whatever, and listen. And they're just like dogging me out. Like that's just gonna make me more mad. I think. I don't know. It's weird. Make eye contact. Don't make eye contact with me when I'm mad. I hate I being. <laughs> I hate being interrupted. Like, like yeah. especially in an argument, it's like let me get. I started my case first. Let me get it off first, and I'll let you talk. It's like you don't have to like butt in, you know, like in the middle. Do you though? <laughs> I don't. I, I'm kidding, I'm I kidding, really I'm kidding, hate I'm when people butt in. I'm kidding. All right. All right next one. <laughs> Giving gifts. Uh, what is it? Tangible symbols that reflect your thoughtfulness and effort. Oh yeah, that's my right. Okay. How to express it? Make birthday and anniversary special. Surprise them with their favorite treat. All right. After conflict, give a small token of your love and an apology note. I am thinking I'm on the wrong page here because giving gifts is more like, it says give a small token. I was thinking more like a big token. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was thinking like a, hey, I'm so sorry. Here's a Louis Vuitton wallet. Like, mm. something, you know, like that's what I was thinking or something. You know? Or if you're really, really like just that kind of guy or girl, it might be a Kenzo shirt. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to send this to our friend that knows the story behind this. But oh, anyway. Yeah, that's a totally different story, guys. <laughs> All right. Next one is physical touch. And what is it? A non-sexual touch that reinforces your presence. Okay. How you express it, long hugs, gentle caressing, kissing, massages, and holding hands. All right. Uh, after conflict, hold each other without saying a word, cuddle together in bed. All right, Fabio, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and these are based on the five love languages written by Dr. Gary Chapman. What's up, Dr. Chapman? Wait, I know that name. Why do I know that name? Gary Chapman. Well, that's Gary Coleman. Yeah, I was no, going to say. <laughs> no, wrong guy. I think about Gary Coleman. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so basically we've, I mean, this is pretty accurate, I think. Yeah, I think I all mean, in all, like, it's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, I fit into two, the, the two biggest ones I fit into, words of affirmation and quality time. Those are the ones that really, you know, hit, I guess, hit the spot, I guess you could say. Yeah, you know. so the mm -hmm. top two, like you said, you got quality time and words of affirmation, mm -hmm. right? And then I got quality time and acts of service. I think I think that's pretty spot on for both of us. I think after conflict makes behavior changes requested through conflict. Uh, yeah, I mean that's 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 decent. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. So uh, we finished our love language quiz. Mm. Uh, we explained to you guys what the love languages are. Mm -hmm. um, we'll leave a link um, in our little bio description if you guys want to take the test. Let us know what you guys get in the comments. Right, be interesting. Yeah. I've never done this, so it's actually like very interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, but you know what? Though? I was like, oh, love language is probably like this, this like kitschy quiz on the internet or something. But it actually makes sense. I think it's like a scientific like. Yeah, quiz. I mean, Gary Chapman knows what he's talking about. Guys, yeah, he's okay? a doctor. Guys. Don't ignore him, Doctor Gary Chapman. <laughs> made uh, the quiz. He has, a, he has a PhD in this stuff. I'm sure. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, but uh, what do you call it? Yeah, you guys should definitely. Uh, do the same quiz and put it into the comments what you guys are because I'm actually curious. I don't think I might know anybody that's like a real material girl, but uh, I really want to like, know if they, you know that you guys are out there or just anybody any of the other love languages. Like it's pretty interesting actually. Yeah, because I mean, you know, like everyone is different how mm -hmm. they um, give love and how they want to receive love. Mm -hmm. Everyone is their own person. So let us know in the comments what you guys get. Yeah. Um, but, obviously, let us know your top two. Yeah, yeah. Let us know your top two, just like ours. Um, yeah, yeah. And but you know what though, regardless of what love language you are i think the one thing that we all know about love is that you guys all love this podcast so you guys should definitely <laughs> leave your comments or subscribe uh to our youtube channel or listen to us on spotify apple podcasts or google podcasts ain't that right aaron yes you can also follow <laughs> us on our oh we're gonna end it like that <laughs> did you like that little transition <laughs> i'm such a pro <laughs> you guys can also follow us on instagram at the korean cowboys podcast we also have a twitter <laughs> korean underscore cowboys we also have a TikTok that we haven't been very active on. Mm -hmm. But like Joel said, if we get a certain amount of views, he will do a TikTok challenge. He will do a TikTok yeah. challenge. If we get a certain amount of views, he will do the challenges. Exactly. But you know what? I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Why? Because regardless of my love languages, I love all of you guys. You know what this is? 
I appreciate that, man. Mm -hmm. Acts of service. I, Thank you very much for taking the initiative. Hey, you know what? After this is over, I'm going to his house to vacuum. <laughs> he's making me do it. <laughs> hey, guys, blink twice if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> Save me. Joy! <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. All right, guys. We'll be back next week with another fun and exciting topic. We yes. hope you guys have a great week. And yeah. We're out of here. We're out of here. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. Love hop. Bye, 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 guys. guys. <laughs> Let's let's see this impression that you have of me, buddy. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> my name is Erin, and I think my love language is acts of service. So, Joel, Joel, fill my bathtub, <laughs> do my laundry, and fold leave on my bed accordingly. If I, man, I failed that one. Damn, <laughs> clown. <laughs>